I would like you to go up, up and away with my students to see how students use technology and teamwork to uh, apply to service learning situations. For instance, um, students research the community needs, either locally or globally, to find issues that they think they can resolve using class content. Um, they usually use internet and other ways of uh, communi uh, communicating and getting the information. Once students find a stakeholder and find a problem they can resolve, they then uh, use smart board technology, in this case several portable smart boards, to, collab, uh, to communicate with each other, save what they collected, uh, and then communicate with others' teams. Um, in this situation, what you're looking at here is uh, students are using digital microscopes and recording devices to develop a model of uh, testing for bacterial toxins in drinking water, which is a very common problem in, in many countries, including the United States. So the students are developing a sustainable, inexpensive means of testing for toxins produced by intestinal bacteria at a very sensitive level that then can be applied literally anywhere inexpensively. Um, once the students come up with a model, now they have to apply it and communicate it to the uh, stakeholders. So what you're seeing here is students using Second Life, but we also use Facebook and other social media to communicate with uh, our stakeholders. Uh, in the Philippines, they discovered that the, uh, our stakeholders had access to internet cafes that they can get uh, for free and they could get Second Life on it. So what uh, my students and the stakeholders did was build a village basically that was already existing and look at ways of adding on uh, materials that could help purify water for drinking and for um, uh, cooking and also um, develop ways of uh, reducing sewage waste so the students were able to see the community even if they weren't there because the stakeholders helped them to build it and then the students used what they researched in, uh, in the classroom to come up with water for purification systems either for uh, drinking water or for removing sewage water. And the students and the stakeholders, as you can see here, can walk around and they can tweak things and make comments on things and leave like sticky notes on stuff and even modifications. And the students are able to do this sometimes real time where their avatars are working together or um, asynchronously by logging on and looking for comments that were left behind by the stakeholders. And the stakeholders will look for comments by the students. Um, Overall, what the students got out of this is a new appreciation of the technologies available to them and some serious ways to use social media, uh, smart boards, and also just surfing the web. Um, after every project, what the students then do is uh, do PowerPoint presentations that we can share real time through Skype or some other uh, medium to, to communicate with our uh, stakeholders. So students can share their failures, their successes, and also listen to how the stakeholders felt about their projects. Um, this is I found this a wonderful way to teach and a great way to reinforce content and also encourage my students to be uh, better global citizens.